This is a tutorial video on LX Beams. And in this video, we're going to talk about saving the file. And we're gonna talk about setting up layers and setting up the views of your applied. So first off, what you should have gotten from me in Moodle is a file called Blythe and Burke Full. Uh, what I mean by that is I have already created the full plot for you. Um, inside the Burke Theater architecture. It also has all the Burke lighting positions as well as the notations, the circuit numbers, and it also has the Blythe Spirit ground plan in there for you. It's named Blythe and Burke Full. So I suggest when you're saving your project, you keep a copy of this clean and what I mean by clean is is keep this copy just in case you need to start over or would like to start a second version um, and the way we can do that is if we go up here to LX beams file and we click duplicate it's going to create a completely uh, separate duplicate version um, of this light plot file so when it does that it's going to end up saying untitled right so here's where you can go in and click file and click rename and once you rename it I suggest you tell me what this is here so let's say this is your final project so let's call this Blythe in Burke right and we're gonna call it final and then I'm gonna give it my name M Akins Right? So that way I know what this file was when it began. I know that this is your final submission and I know who it is. And then of course you're gonna determine where you wanna put it. Um, I'm just gonna drop it on my desktop, right? And the file format stays the same and I'm gonna click save. Right? So you're gonna see the name of the file change here once it has successfully saved. So here we have Blythe and Burke, final copy, M. Akins. So I'm gonna go back to this other copy, Blythe and Burke full, and I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna minimize it so that I'm working on the correct copy here of the file that you're gonna submit to me. Then if something happens, um, you can go to file, open reset, and right here is the full file that we just duplicated in case you need to um, go back to the blank file again. All right, so we're gonna work on this guy. Now what I've done for you is I've set up, um, like I said, the basic template for your light plot project. That is also includes all the multiple layers that you need to create the things on this drafting. The layers button is right over here uh, in your toolkit on the right side. And if you click on it, you're gonna see that I have created multiple layers for you, right? So here is the layer with the ground plan. Here is the layer with the lighting positions drawn in so you can actually use them to hang lights. Here is a layer for your lighting area submission of how you broke up the stage into lighting areas. And then I've created multiple areas here for you to create magic sheets. And then finally, the uh, layer for your light plot. All right, so first off, this radio button, that's what those little circles are called, they're called radio buttons. Notice the one next to lighting areas is clicked. What that means is I'm working on that layer of the drawing. Think about the layers being stacked up pieces of glass that you can see through. So if I wanna draw my ground plan, I'm gonna activate my ground plan later. And that's gonna let me actually go in here and draw on the ground plan. If I don't want to draw on the ground plan and I don't want to manipulate it, then I click off of it. So let's say I just want to work on my light plot. I click the radio button here on the light plot. Also over here to the right are the layer visibilities. So even though I'm working on my light plot, I may not want to see my magic sheet. As a matter of fact, I don't. So I want to turn its visibility off. I don't want to see my specials magic sheet, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn all my magic sheet layers off just because I don't want to see them. Now, see, nothing is changing right now, 
because we don't have anything drawn on those layers. But watch what happens when I turn off the lighting areas. Actually, we haven't drawn that yet either. So let's turn off the ground plan, right? Notice it goes away, right? So that, that's like removing that sheet of glass so you can no longer see it through your stack of glass layers. So I'm gonna turn that back on because we want to see our ground plan at all times. We also wanna be able to see the lighting positions. So we wanna leave those on as well. We also wanna be able to hang things directly on them. So your lighting positions wants to remain selectable. It should say selectable at all time. That's what this um, column is. That means whether or not you can affect those layers no matter what layer you're drawing on. So again, I'm gonna be drawing most everything on my light plot. Whenever I wanna draw in my lighting areas, I wanna make sure that I'm drawing on that layer and that that layer is visible. Let's say I've drawn some things on my light plot and I don't want to see those, so I can turn that off. Great. And I have a great example for you where I've started, where I have started my own example light plot. So I'm gonna change this file now. I'm gonna shrink this file and I'm going to show you, this is an example file, full uh, Blythe and Burke full example that I've started to create. And as you can see, I'm looking at my light plot layer and you can see all the lights that I've started to hang on the light plot. I don't wanna see my magic sheet layers, so I'm gonna turn those guys off. Don't wanna see any of my magic sheet layers right now. Um, I wanna see my lighting positions at all times. And again, because I wanna hang things on them, I want them to be selectable. And again, I wanna see my ground plan layer at all times, right? So this is how you make sure that you're drawing on the right layer. And this is also how you make sure you can see which layers, which ones are visible, and which ones are selectable. Remember, if it's selectable, that means it actually lets you manipulate that layer of the drawing. I don't ever really want to manipulate the ground plan. I want it to stay the same. I don't want to make it any bigger or smaller or erase things. So I'm going to leave that ground plan unselectable right, at all times. Um, so I have started to draw in some of the lighting areas. So I'm gonna show you what happens when I turn the on, right? There's a circle that appears up on my lighting area and I'm gonna cover how to draw those lighting areas in the next video. Again, if I don't wanna see those lighting areas, I'm gonna turn them off, right? Now, if I wanna draw on that lighting area and make a new area, I wanna make sure I click on it and now, I can go in and select that layer. If you don't wanna be able to select that layer, if you wanna work on your light plot, you have to make sure you've activated the right layer. Now notice my lighting area layer is still visible, but I can go in and turn him off. So I'm neither drawing on that layer now, nor can I see it, nor is it selectable. Right now I'm working on my light plot layer, which allows me to go in and grab my lights, and change my lights around, all right? Great, whatever you do, don't forget on a regular basis to click File, Save. Um, LX Beams is set up to auto-save every few minutes, and you can go to the LX Beams Preferences and actually tell it how often to auto-save. It'll auto save a backup for you, but don't forget every now and then just to go and click save after you've made several changes. Um, that'll keep you from losing minutes of work at a time uh, if something happens to your computer or it crashes. The last thing I wanna show you in this video is how to create a view. Um, here you have used zoom tools when you wanna change the view of your plot. So you can zoom in and you can zoom out. Now notice the zoom in is a pretty radical zoom in. So it gets you in there really nice and close. So you might not wanna be that close. And when you zoom out, it also gets really kind of small um, and hard to see.
So one of the things I like to do is I like to create saved views. You can also click here in view and go down to zoom and get sort of in between like custom sizes. So there's 75%, here's 50%, right? We can go to 200%. And as you can see, um, it's pretty kind of big. But let's say, for instance, that I like the um, 150 degree. Now let's go a little smaller. Let's do zoom actual size an actual size is pretty good but I think we want it to be just a little bit smaller so let's go to zoom 75 and that gives us our entire lighting plot so let's say you want to get to that over and over again without having to click all those buttons you can go here to the views tab and notice I've already saved two views I've saved the full plot view, which is what we're looking at right now, and I've also saved the ground plan view. So if I want to change my view, I can click on view and ground plan. And you see there's where I've saved a particular view that zooms in directly to my ground plan, and I don't have to mess around with all these buttons. I can click on view and full plot, and it gets me back up here to the entire drawing. So let's say for some reason uh, you wanted to focus on each one of the lighting positions. So let's say you wanted to see your FOHs here. This is a really good view. This is zoomed in uh, just enough to where I can see the entire second FOH, the entire first FOH. And if I scroll up just a little bit, I could also get my anti-pro number two my AT Pro number one, my Juliet's, and I can't see the box booms. They're just off the page. Let's see if I could. We're just gonna stick with that for now. We're gonna say this creates a view that shows us those four FOHs. I'm gonna center back in here to where I can say that view. And let's say I wanna go back to this view over and over again. I can click on this little views tab here and click save this view. It'll ask me if I want to save a new one or if I want to update an existing one. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to click OK and it's going to say, OK, what do you want to call it? And I'm going to call it FOH view. And then when I click OK, it's going to save that for me. So here I can go back and you see now I have an FOH view. So I can go back to my full plot view very quickly. I can go back to my ground plan view very quickly. And I can go back to my FOH view very quickly without having to use these buttons or the view tab. So that's a quick way to deal with layers, saving files, and creating some views. Great. A couple more videos coming up. I hope these are helpful to you. And we'll see you in just a couple minutes.